Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is your friendly neighborhood gamer, Doczilla, and this is my Ruby Grim Eclipse Guide for Nora Valkyrie. Nora Valkyrie was raised alone with Lai Ren. They're orphans. They have no family, no home to go to. Maybe because they've been so close for so long, she carries one hell of a torch for this guy. I don't know if it's just because he has the social awareness of a sack of wet bricks, but he hasn't noticed in all the time they've been together. Volume 4, please get on that. Please get them together. Make this little shipper really happy. Um, he, She's an electricity-charged nightmare. It's like if Trevor Phillips and Thor had a baby. If you don't think that's already awesome, let me get into the best part, which is her weapon. It's called Maganheel. This this two-handed hammer that turns into a grenade launcher. If you don't think that's already awesome, let me get into the move list so I can tell you how awesome it is. Her ultimate's called Charged Up. It's this aerial attack that ends in this AoE lightning slam. Just boom, comes down a bunch of fools. Her team attack is this ranged one called Electro Blast. She executes an enemy with this bolt of lightning, and you can upgrade it into this sort of chain lightning effect, so it zips around to a bunch of different enemies. Um, and then there's her ranged attack, which is called the Love Launcher. Uh, she fires grenades in this combo. It ends with that little heart combo like we saw in Volume 3. It's really fun, and both parts of this weapon have great uses. Uh, her role, I'm going to say, is more of a heavy. She does sort of have slow attacks with the grenade launcher and the hammer, but she does have some rapid combos in the middle, so she can mix it up a little bit with the best of them. The hammer, Maganhield, is best used with bosses or with heavy hitters or if you're, you know, dealing with one enemy at a time, because those are the rapid-fire combos that'll knock them out and get them down. You'll want to switch to Love Launcher if you're dealing with groups of mobs, because those are going to be great at stunning and dizzying large amounts of them, leaving your team uh, open to just sweep in and just cut them apart. Go for that if you're dealing with lots of mobs. She's very versatile. She's great in multiplayer. She's great in solo. Um, she's phenomenal in 1v1 against bosses, so she's a great pickup. Uh, the whole Team Juniper is available now in $5 uh, Steam DLC. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe if you want to see more, and until next time, this is your friendly neighborhood gamer, Doczilla, signing off.